Hey guys, Paul from Green Dragon Hydroponics. Um, today we're going to be talking about our design layout for our 9x7 row space that we're working on. Um, as far as the ventilation, we're going to be making two different runs. One is to um, cool the reflector, that will be an 8 inch ducting, and then the other one is to bring fresh air and exhaust the space, that will be a 6 inch. So, um, really. All that we're concerned about is the type of ducting we're going to be using and then the type of fans. And um, to start, as far as the 6 inch run goes, it's not going to be um, anything uh, anything complex, just general aluminum ducting like uh, can ducting here. So uh, this is two ply ducting. It is stronger than just, you know, your, your cheapo version. Um, so going to last longer when we put it in place and then um, as far as the ducting that we're using for air cooling um, you do want something that's a little bit stronger because we have a light on a light mover which will constantly be um, uh, expanding and contracting and moving along with that light so um, for that we're going to be using uh, permaduct so you can see this is um, a lot stronger it has uh, it's reinforced here so that um, when it's moved, you can you can really pull and move on this stuff. So, um, so that's what we'll be running for our eight inch. Um, as far as the fans, we're kind of going to be going with the uh, more economical version. We're putting in two um, two eight inch fans, one for the air cool, and then one for the exhaust, and then one six inch, which will be our intake with the HEPA filter on. So, uh, so for those, we're going to be using um, Hurricane fans, which are they're. Um, not the cheapest, but um, I'd say a moderate or you know economical, more economical than a um, high-end fan, which um, don't really see a use for in this space. Although, um, if you do want to pay a little bit extra, these Vortex fans are probably you know I consider to be top of the line. They come with a 10-year warranty. Um, I've owned some for over 10 years now, and I've never had an issue with them. You plug them in and they work just like they're fresh out of the box. So um, if you do want to spend a little bit more money and have that really reliable, uh, long lasting fan, then check out Vortex. Um, Max Fan is also a, a good consideration. They have really nice, powerful um, and efficient fans. So, so let's go over the uh, design layout and then we'll head back to the space and start installing. All right. All right, so here's an overhead view of our grow space ventilation pretty convenient we have a window box right across from the space that vents up to the um, to the sidewalk so we're going to use that for our intake and then connect a 8 inch Y connector to an 8 inch run of ducting sorry 6 inch run of ducting here and then an 8 inch through here that will vent through our reflector um, the 6 inch is going to be connected to a HEPA filter to uh, filter out any bugs, pests, mold, mildew before it enters the, the general grow space. And then we'll have an exhaust here which will be an 8 inch fan exhausting out. Um, these two are going to be connected to a thermostat which will control the, um, the fans as the temperature rises. Say it hits like 76 degrees, the fans will kick on and bring the, bring the temperature back down to like 72 and then cycle as needed. Um, the ventilation for the 1000 watt fan is going to be here. This will vent out this way and pull the air um, through this through this run and keep the air as cooled. And that will be on the same timer that the 1000 watt fan is on. So the 1000 watt fixture is on. So is whenever the fixture is on, the fan will be venting the reflector. Um, if you were running or concerned about filtration, then this is where you'd put your carbon filter and um, basically that would filter the air through here before it leaves the grow space. Um, also if you're worried about smells in the room then you would want to put your 8 inch fan venting the reflector over here. The reason for that would be that it would create um, positive pressure on this ducting and any, any points here rather than here where it creates negative pressure so that the air would be, if there were any cracks or holes in, in the ducting, it would be
pulling the air from the grow space before leaving it where this way if there are any holes it would just be pushing the air out into the grow space which isn't a big deal um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is that the reason we have an 8 inch here and a 6 inch here is also for negative pressure um, you don't want a stronger fan blowing in than you do blowing out which would also force air out of the room out of spaces in the doors and things like that this way the room is uh, has a slight negative pressure and draws the air in through and keeps any type of smells inside the room um, so let's head over the space we just finishing it up so I'll give you a little tour of what it looks like all right guys we're here at the space and I'm really excited to have gotten this ventilation all set into place um, give you a quick walk through of the inside and then I'll show you the outside where we, we uh, ran our intake the six inch and eight inch ducting so um, to start we have um, two fans that do the intake and outtake and this is our intake here but um, this is a pretty nice um, starting collar from Sunlight Supply you can't find these at normal HVAC stores so um, if you need one definitely check your uh, local hydro shop and um, they may have them or get, be able to get them in stock uh, modified it a little bit to fit this HEPA filter so that I can easily um, unscrew this and take it off the wall and clean it when when needed um, so on the other side of the wall is our six inch fan that's pulling the air and blowing it through here um, and then over here on the opposite side of the room um, this is our outtake now if you were running uh, carbon filtration um, you'd have your fan on either on the outside wall or right here and then have the carbon filter sticking out here so that would be drawing the air as the um, intake fan is pushing it in that would be drawing it out and um, if you are doing that like I said you want a um, larger fan on the outtake to create negative pressure in the room obviously because you don't want air blowing out through like small cracks and crevices in the room so um, intake outtake and then the other fan that we ran is over here so um, the other ventilation that we ran is our 8 inch ducting onto the, um, the air cooled reflector this is also on a, on a light mover so um, we made sure to give enough length on either side um, this you can see is, is scrunched up and as it, as it kind of pushes one way the ducting does kind of lose efficiency but um, uh, that's something that you deal with with a light mover this is actually um, this is a, a pretty easy way to deal with that is you put this little trolley on here and as the light moves in this this will hold up the ducting and um, keep it in place as it as it pushes in and out so um so like I said for this we use um, the perma duct which is a lot stronger and can handle these types of movements without ripping and tearing. Um, aside from that, we have our intake and outtake connected to a pretty cool thermostat. Um, you can see it right down here. This is a Spartan series by Titan. Um, get this through sunlight supply. It has a um, day and night temperature, so you set it there and then you can set your differential at two degrees, four degrees, or six degrees. It also has a, a photo cell. Um, so it obviously knows which, whether you're, it's day or night. And then um, as, the, um, as the fans or the temperature ri rises to a certain degree, then the fans will kick on. So if I actually lower this, you'll hear the fans kick on. Both foot fans will one air blowing in and then the other blowing out exhausts the whole room within a few minutes so uh, so that's that it's it's not a, a really expensive um, item but really useful for controlling the environment um, I think it retails around uh, 70 bucks for that so Put the two fans on that and, and you're good to go. Um, 
So let's step outside and I'll show you what we did on the outside of the room. Um, so, uh, so the first thing, probably one of the most important things is keeping a nice tight seal on the door. So I redid this seal so you can see here. Um, it makes almost a perfect uh, set. And this was maybe $2 at Home Depot. Um, you know, spend the money and just redo everything. You can see that just sets in there and it's gonna make sure that, that all the air is pulled in and out and no, no air is, um, is sucked in through any cracks to bring bugs or pests, things like that. Um, right behind me, this is our, our outtake fan, which is eight inch. It's a um, Chinese brand, which, you know, it's okay. I, I was trying to save a few dollars, so um, put uh, these on here. I've used them before and they run pretty well for, um, you know, and have a one year warranty, so it's good enough for what we're doing. Um, I put these on um, bungee cords so that it reduces vibrations on, on, the, um, on the joists. So, you know, if, if you're in a living space, it's not gonna annoy you or, you know, you're gonna hear uh, excess vibrations. So, um, then over here. So, uh, this is our intake. It's right across from the, from the space. And I put, um, this is our main intake and it's a eight inch ducting on every place where there is a bend, uh, I put a hard elbow on there. And the reason is because obviously when the fans turn on, if this was just ducting going around 90 degrees, it's gonna shrink that elbow and you're gonna lose a lot of efficiency. So I spent a couple dollars on, on um, anywhere where it was making a 90 degree turn and um, put, a, put a, a hard aluminum elbow on there. So right over here, I'll show you one other thing. This is our, um, this is the outside of the space and this is the eight inch ducting going in and there's a Y right here. So eight inch to eight inch and then six inch over here. So um, let's see here. This is our six inch over here. Six inch, I just use regular uh, three ply aluminum ducting you know, it's not gonna be moving, so that should do the job there. And then a six inch fan on a bungee cord. And um, that's about it for the ventilation. So um, like I said, I'm really excited to have get, gotten this done. And uh, on the next episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys the final product with lights installed and um, our 1000 watt uh, HPS on a mover. And you'll get a, a good idea of the entire space. So um, definitely check us out on the next one. If you like the video, definitely hit the subscribe button. Also, uh, check us out on Facebook or um, greendragonhydroponics.com. All right, thanks a lot, and we'll see you then.